I'm going to quickly do glasses. The main thing to remember about glasses is that they are not just the bridge of the nose thing, a square and another square and two things. Oh, I wear glasses. So when you have glasses that are filled in the whole way, they're relatively easy um, because you can just do the outline of the glasses, find where the light hits the glass and I guess reflect that. Uh, and then do the shadow underneath the glasses. Super simple. Mark's glasses are like my old glasses, where you don't have a rim underneath the bottom of them, which makes it very difficult to draw, um, only because you don't want to just draw a line on someone's face and go, yeah, that's where the end of the glass is. So with these ones, what I'm going to do is do the rim that you can see first. Um, and once I've got that done, I will come back to you. Okay, so I have a rim. What I will now do is have a look at where the light is reflecting on the actual glass. So you'll see with Mark's glasses, um, you've got light coming down from this side of uh, the reference. So the edge, the inner edge of the glass here is reflecting and it's pretty much pure white. Um, the outer edge is reflecting up here and up here and then the inner edge of this one quite prominently is reflecting light over here um, as well as a little bit on the inside there. The other thing you need to notice is where the shadows are being cast on Mark's face because a lot of the time I see glasses drawn on a face and they seem to just be hovering um, above the face with, with no shadow. Um, so you'll see his cheeks touching the glasses, uh, his cheeks touching his glasses here, which means that there's going to be quite a dark shadow. Um, on the other side, not so much, but you can still see where um, it's casting a shadow there. And then the other thing that casts a shadow is uh, the edge of the frame here. So that's because the light's coming from this way, casting it across his face. So let's grab some white. And I'm going to take the opacity down a little bit. Um, the other thing I want to do is just start this on a new layer in case I fuck up royally. Um, and I'm just going to do kind of soft lines where the glasses should be. I'm not going to do this too accurately because like I keep saying, you can fix stuff later. have geese outside, can you hear them? <laughs> okay, so at the moment this is not looking too realistic, but that's okay because we're going to take our skin colour and fix up the line a little bit. Now I find this easier than doing just a straight line to begin with because I find that it gives it a bit of a softer touch. But if you don't want to do this, I guess you don't have to. The other thing I would probably be doing at this stage, but I'm not going to do today, is drawing this over the top of my sketch lines. Um, just because at the moment you'll see the white gets cut off in some parts where my sketch is, because the sketch line is coming over the top. Okay, 
Then the last thing I'm going to do is add in the shadows. So I'm going to stick a layer underneath my glasses. And of course, I will probably go over this later when I'm cleaning up the sketch. Uh, sorry, when I'm cleaning up the uh, picture. But just to give you a general idea at the moment, Okay, and basically, very basically, that is how I draw glasses. So the other thing glasses do, and this is just something quick for the end, um, is kind of warp a face a little bit. Um, if you're turning your face to the side. Uh, so I have another here that I didn't quite finish, but I just wanted to show you quickly, I guess what glasses do to a face. So, I have my face here, um, and basically what I've had to do is get the edge of the glasses and cut out a chunk of Mark's face. <laughs> Um, and it might look weird now, but once the glasses are in there, I promise you it won't. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is do a speed paint of these two using my new watercolor tool presets, which are up here and I showed you in my last, second last vlog. Um, so you'll get to see me do that if you wanted to watch the speed paint. Wow. Um, but for now, that is how I do eyes and glasses. Um, I don't do them in as much detail as I used to, but hopefully that's given you a general idea of what to look for when you're painting eyes and glasses. As always, if you've got any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But apart from that, I think that's it. Um, oh. I did want to say, and I should have said this at the beginning, oops, maybe I'll like cut this into the beginning. So, um, I have a couple of rules for these tutorials. They're all in my first tutorial um, just at the beginning, so go and check them out for me, please. It would mean a lot. Let me know what else you want to see me do a tutorial on. Um, I have a lot of ideas from a lot of different people, so I've got enough to keep me going for a little while. But if there's anything you specifically want to see me do, feel free to ask um, and maybe I will at some point. <laughs> um, my next tutorial will be out in a week's time, but until then, stay happy, stay healthy and stay safe. Um, stay healthier than me and I will speak at you again soon. Bye! <laughs> Why me?